Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about action wildcard mappings in Struts 2. What wildcards allows us to do is to have a single action mapping that addresses multiple action names. And uh, I'll illustrate that with this example over here. So here we have a search form action mapped to a search form.jsp. Now, let's say I need to have an action mapping for search form. And let's say I have an action mapping for a search page, a search tutorial, search seminars, or whatever. So as long as I know that they all start with search, and I need the same action to address all those different combinations, what I can do is I can replace this with a wildcard. So instead of search form, I can have a search star. So what's going to happen now is any action name that starts with search, be it search form or search tutorials or whatever, it is still going to consider that and it's going to affect this action mapping. So search something will result in redirection to a search form.jsp. So let's see this in action. Okay, so I've deployed the application with the changes I've made with this wildcard. And now I'm going to access the earlier URL, which is the search form.action. Now what's going to happen is it will redirect the user to the search form.jsp because it fits this wildcard. It's a search star. So the advantage here is no matter what you enter over here, let's say search page, it's still going to redirect to search form.jsp. So you have essentially a single action mapping that takes care of multiple action names just because of this wildcard. And this does not have to be at the end. It can be anywhere. I can have a star over here, the star at the beginning. So it's simple wildcard matching. So no matter where you have the star, as long as it matches this pattern, it's going to consider this particular action. There is, however, one catch when it comes to wildcard mappings, and that is how does the framework handle conflicts? If there are multiple wildcards that match the URL or the action that the user is trying to enter. Now, to give an example, I've actually reverted this back to the search form the way it was before. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a second action mapping over here, which has the wildcard. All right. So we have a search form, which does not have the wildcard. It's the complete action name. And then we have a second action, which includes the wildcard. Now, the question is, how does this conflict get resolved? Now, if I enter search form, now let's change this, of course. We have the same result, so it wouldn't have a difference. Let me call this search tutorial.jsp, and I'm going to just make a copy. Okay, so I have a search form page and a search tutorial page. Okay, so now if the user enters the action name search tutorial, we know for sure this does not match, it goes over here. But if the user enters search form, would it be this action or this action that gets invoked? The answer here is that Struts2 checks the, the mapping in the order in which you have entered the actions. So it checks from top to bottom, it first checks the first action that's specified, and then the next action, and so on. So which means that if it's a search form, it's going to check this one first, and it's going to execute this particular action, it'll redirect to search form. Now, if I had flipped this, now if this action was mentioned first, and then this action was mentioned second, in that case, it would be the first action, which was this action, which would get called, and it would result in a redirection to search tutorial.jsp. So what this means is that when you're specifying your actions with wildcards, you have to start with the more specific ones first, because struts2 is going to check from top to bottom. So that means that the names without wildcards, if at all there is an overlap, the names without wildcards would be at the top, and the names with wildcards 
would be at the bottom and the ones with more wildcards would be way down. Another cool thing about wildcards is you can actually get hold of the part of the action name that matches the wildcard. Now let's say you have a search star over here. Now depending on the value over here which is matched to the star, say you want to change the result. We actually have something like that going on already. So if it's a search form, we have a search form .jsp. Now let's say you want to make it a bit more generic. If it's a search tutorial, it's a search tutorial .jsp. If it's a search seminar, it's a search seminar .jsp. So what what we need to do is depending on the value that gets matched, you want to redirect to a different .jsp. So it's not a uh, you know catch everything that starts with this. Okay, it's different than from that. What's different is depending on what is actually caught in the wildcard, you want to have a different .jsp. So the way you can do that is by accessing this value, the part of the name that matches the wildcard and then using that in the result. And uh, the way to do that is, I'll replace this with one within these curly braces. So what I'm trying to tell Struts is whatever is matched over here needs to be substituted over here. So What's going to happen now is I don't need this anymore. I don't need this mapping search form to search form .jsp because this actually takes care of that. If I'm passing a search form, it's redirecting to search form .jsp. If I'm passing search tutorial, it's going to redirect to search tutorial .jsp. And you know anything else? If I pass any other text over here, it's going to try to redirect to that particular .jsp. Of course, we don't have anything else, so other actions would result in an error. But the thing here is that you can have this kind of a multiple mapping with just one action mapping. Okay, so I can remove this now, and this is gonna take care of both the search form and the search tutorial. So let me save this, and we'll try to run. Okay, so I'll enter, again, the URL that we were using before, search form.action, it redirects to search form.jsp. And if I change this to tutorial, redirects to search tutorial.jsp. So this is the mapping that we have achieved. We have achieved multiple mappings with just one action mapping. So if I say search form, it's going to take that form and it's going to substitute over here and it's going to redirect to search form.jsp and the same thing for tutorials. Now, you might be wondering what's the one doing over here. The one is to indicate that there is just one wildcard over here. Now, you can have multiple wildcards. Now, let's say I have a, another wildcard over here. Now, if you had to substitute the, the text that match this wildcard, you would have to use a one. And if you had to substitute a text that match this wildcard, you'd have to use a two. Since we have only one wildcard in this example, we're just using one. So if we had multiple wildcards, you'd have to use the corresponding number again, starting from left to right. So that's the significance of this one. Okay, so this is actually very handy. Again, as I said, if you have some kind of a convention where you have a particular action name going to a particular action class and then going to a particular JSP. So in that case, you can have one thing that, you know, that addresses the mapping of all those things as long as it's sticking to this convention. And of course, I forgot to mention, this is not just for the JSP that you can plug this in. You can plug this into the class as well. So let's say I have this this one. So I have a get tutorial, going to tutorial action. Now let's say I want to have a mapping for get anything should go to that something action. Okay, so I have a get seminar, going to seminar action, a get uh, books, going to books action. So again, what I need to do then is have the star over here so that it maps all the gets and then the class would be of course I have to plug in the value that matches this thing so this would be a one in curly braces so this wildcard and then the substitution can work for both the result as well as the action, the class name itself. So of course you have to be, you have to have that particular action over here. So we do not have that in our source. So here we have only tutorial action for our get. So in case you have multiple actions and you want to have that mapping happen automatically, you can use wildcards to have that happen.